they just cut it off and then they stitched it back up i still have stitches right now let's see the battle wounds like and yeah looks like she got shot guys <laughs> <laughs> YouTube. What is up everybody? So before we get into today's video, don't forget to like, comment. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell notifications to be notified every time we post them. Bang! <laughs> you get us, you get us. So if you guys see us looking over here, Amira is just chilling, eating her Cheeto. What? But yeah, this is basically like your video. Explain the title. Let them know what you got done. Let them know what you got done. You guys, I got my surgery. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you guys know by the title, I had surgery done. I got it done. What day? Valentine's, oh, Day. Valentine's Day. Yeah, Valentine's yeah, Day Sunday. at Dermatology South Rejuvenation Dermatology. That's what it's called. Mm -hmm. And okay, so what happened? This is the whole story. Okay. Mm -hmm. and why she wanted to get the surgery in the first place? Yeah. Are yeah. you gonna put your opinion after? No, I don't think it was anything like crazy, crazy. You know what I mean? I guess it, to you. Yeah. But okay, so when I got pregnant. Some of you may know but i had my belly button piercing and the skin in between my piercing stretched and it just you have a little pictures you want to add a picture add a picture add a picture hopefully she'll let us add a little picture somewhere here yeah not, maybe guys. i'll find a picture and show you I, I know some other pregnant girls are in like later they have it but there's I feel like theirs was not as noticeable as mine. Got. Maybe searching like Google belly button piercing after pregnancy. Yeah. Something like that. I feel Maybe like, something will pop up. I feel like some of you girls I got pregnant would know because I did message some of you and was like, <laughs> is there anything I can do to fix it? But anyway, so the scan between my piercing stretched and I honestly messaged everyone. I asked everyone that knew something about that kind of problem where I could go to get a fix. Mm -hmm. So I went to get microneedling done. That is what someone suggested I did. Ooh. Yeah, I was on my third session and I don't think I maybe didn't explain myself well enough, but I didn't want it to be a couple sessions trying to get it down. I wanted it gone completely. She kept saying like, you need six to 10 sessions, blah, blah, blah. And I was so like set on, I want this gone. That I was like, okay, if I have to get 10, 12 sessions, fine. Mm -hmm. But, so if I wanted to get, if I had to get 10 to 12 sessions done or whatever I had to do, I was going to do it. I wanted this shit gone, okay? <laughs> Anyways, so then I got to a point where I told one of my close friends, Jenny, about it. And she was like, oh, you should try going to this place. So I messaged like three kind of places like dermatol um, rejuvenation dermatology. And I was just kind of asking about like my options and like the prices they had for me and stuff like that. And most of them said I had to book a consultation. And since Jenny went to the place that I went to, I ended up booking there for a consultation. And when I went, I showed them and they were like, oh yeah, I got this too, but I got it lasered off. And I was gonna get it lasered off, but they said that wasn't the best option because I'm a darker skin tone. So it would be, um, <laughs> So I would have a darker pigmentation of if I got laser done. So the other doctor requested for me to get it just cut off completely. Chop, chop, slice. And I got that done on Sunday. Yeah. And I'm so happy. It is way better than what it was. It was just so ugly before. <laughs> I and some people cover it with like a belly bump piercing, but that wasn't the occasion with me. I couldn't. Like, it was so getting so long that I was just like, no. And if I got pregnant again, I wonder if it would like S stretch, stretch even more. more. Yeah. That's so now it's so. completely gone as their stitches. And I have to go back in 12 days to get the stitches removed. Yeah. So if you guys have that issue, dermatology south. People that live where we live. In Calgary. Live. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Or if you guys live somewhere else, maybe you guys can go get the same thing. But they just completely cut it off and then stitch it What, like, did they give you needles or, like, what did they do, like, the oh, yeah. process? They froze the area. And then they, honestly, I didn't see anything else, but they just cut it off. And then they stitched it back up. I still have stitches right now. Let's see the battle wounds. It's, like, falling out. Like, it looks so ugly. This, let's, let's see the patch. 
Like, yeah. Looks like she got shot, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like she got dead. shot. The first day I was like, nah, nah, I don't feel nothing. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> then at night, I was like, it's burning, Kiran. It's burning. It's burning. Did your. <laughs> <laughs> he got something done before with stitches and I was like, oh, did yours burn before? And then... Yeah, nah. I was literally aching at night, but now I'm fine. It doesn't hurt that much. Was there a recovery process? It was there really? No, I just have to go back and get it removed. Like, done. That's it. Yeah, no, that's crazy. It's a bit pricey, but if you want it, you'll yeah, do it. it. Oh yeah, so after I get the stitches out, in 12 days there is gonna be a little bit of a scar but it'll be way better than what it looked like before and it's gonna be the same color as my skin so it won't be noticeable at all yeah. and it's super tiny so ladies you guys want that little piece off you know where to go what dermatology rejuvenation dermatology but like if somebody didn't live where we live just dermatology they look for a derm yeah, dermatologist just, yeah just ask and get um maybe ask your doctor where they would suggest and go somewhere if you live in the states there's so many places like i yeah, wish you guys are gonna find places probably around the corner right now so Switch many skin places like, like and if you're a lighter skin tone you have the option of getting it just lasered off and i think that's way cheaper than what i got the doctor that i went to his name was dr danny guo and he was pretty good he made me feel comfortable and stuff there was another like a nurse in the room but I forgot her name. And so. she said she had the exact same thing? Was that the one that... No, no. When I first, first went in, there was mm -hmm. a girl that got pregnant. Um, one of the nurses that was pregnant. And she had her lasers off, lasered off, but she was white. So she said it didn't really look crazy or anything. It was like... Just... Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Like the scar or whatever. Yeah, like she didn't have to get it cut off like me, so... Oh, okay. But yeah, if you guys are in Calgary, go to Rejuvenation. I actually messaged someone and they said they wanted it done, so I'm gonna let them know where I went after I see what it looks like. Healed up and everything. Yeah, and then suggest that they go there if they really want to. But anyways, it's called Rejuvenation Dermatology. <laughs> Didn't I say it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bless you. Dr. Danny Guo, okay? That's all I have to say for today. Yes, sir. So guys, that's basically my surgery story. Her surgery story, Momo. Maybe I'll surgery. come it up next. Well, this is gonna get talking nonsense, <laughs> nonsense. Baby number two coming up next. See you guys later in the next video. Bye.